Hi, I'm Paul Isaacs, VP of Marketing, Product Design and Sound Devices. I'd like to show you our new Pixie series of on-camera field recording monitors. These come under our video devices brand. So in this Pixie series of recording uh, monitors, there are three models. The Pix E5H, an HDMI only five inch model. There's the Pix E5, which is an SDI plus HDMI five inch recording monitor. And then there's a seven inch um, uh, uh, recording monitor too. And this is the Pix E7. Now the Pix E5s, the five inch versions, are the world's smallest and most compact 4K recording monitor. Um, they have uh, 1920 by 1080 LCDs with 500 nit brightness, so great in sunlight. The 7 inch has a 1920 by 1200 pixel LCD, 500 nit, great in sunlight. And there's also sun hoods to go with that too. So let's talk a little bit about the monitor functions. These are primarily monitors with full range of monitor functionality. So you have your scopes, you have your waveform monitor, you have your vector scopes, you have your histogram, you have the ability to apply LUTs. So we have built-in S-Log2, S-Log3, Canon and ARRI logs, so you can decode to 709 on the display. Um, there's false colors, there's zebras, um, peaking. But one of the key unique features about this product is it has a feature called tap zoom which is a perfect tool for focus assist and it allows you to zoom in really quickly just by touching the point of interest on the screen tap in tap tap out tap into where you're interested in looking once you're zoomed in you can actually drag around the screen um, and tap out there's two or four times zoom so you can really get in tight and out and used in conjunction with peaking We've really got a very fast way to get really precise focus. Okay, so we've also got guide markers as well, and all of these things can be customised. If you hold any of the tactile buttons, because this is not just a touchscreen device, tactile buttons can sometimes make operation so much easier. But you combine the two. If I hold any tactile button, it brings up a context menu, and then you can set up the settings. So I want to talk to you a little bit about recording now. We record 4K, so we can do 4096 by 2160 up to 24 frame, and UHD 3840 by 2160 up to 30 frame. Um, we can also record to Apple ProRes 4x4XQ. That is the highest quality codec available on the market, but obviously we can do the whole range of ProRes. So to record at these data rates, this sort of quality, you really need fast media, and often fast media is associated with very costly, but we've come up with a really great, very, very powerful, cost-effective solution. It's called Speed Drive. And Speed Drive, it, well, it looks like a USB thumb drive. And it is a USB th thumb drive, but it's way, 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 way more than that. So inside, let me show you what's inside. If I just pull one apart and I show you here, this is an MSATA, it's an industry standard MSATA SSD drive. These are available everywhere. Um, Amazon, Newegg, wherever. They're very cost effective. They go up to one terabyte in size. And really, to install them, it's dead easy. That you just slot it in, click it down, and put the lid on. Once you've done that, you've got your drive. You then need to just slot this into the back of your Pixie. And when it connects to your Pixie, it does something pretty amazing. The USB 3 converts to SATA automatically. This is a totally unique bit of engineering that we've managed to pull off. And that has allowed us to get really high data rates and the ability to record 4K and Apple ProRes 4x4XQ. As soon as I remove that drive after recording, it's now a USB 3 transfer drive again. One gig, say every five seconds. So that's our recording. Um, battery power is via two L mounts. If one dies, seamless switching. There's also an external DC 10 to 34 volt uh, DC port. So. Um, we're there. That's pretty much a, a quick overview, but there's one accessory I want to tell you about, and that's called the PixLR. I don't have one here. Yes, I do. But um, So this is an, a bolt-on audio accessory via screw here. There's a connector here. And this provides two extra mic line, high-quality mic line inputs, balanced inputs. There are already unbalanced inputs on the monitors. Um, so this has phantom, limiters, and high-pass filter. LED metering, big transport controls, and some nice little pop-in game controls. So that's what we have. These products are going to be available this summer. Um, pricing for the E5H, the HDMI-only version, is $1195.
The um, E5 SDI plus HDMI version is 1395 and the 7 inch version, the E7, is 1595. The enclosure only is just the caddy, the speed drive caddy is uh, 59 bucks. If you want it with a 240 gig drive, it's about $249. If you want larger drives, you have to populate them yourself. So that's all I've got for you, and thank you very much. <laughs>